15 years ago, just before I started doing graphic design as a professional, I started scouring the internet for graphic design industry blogs and the information I found was life-changing. Information that would be the actual catalyst for building the successful graphic design company that I have today. There was one blog in particular that kept coming up for me. The info was not only accurate, but it gave me the confidence that I needed in my career, especially starting out, to soar to the heights that I have now. Do you wanna know what that blog is? Well, hang tight, because in this video, I'm gonna share that blog that started it all for me. We're gonna talk about it, and we're gonna get into why you should start blogging right away. So what is a blog? Well, a blog is a website that hosts articles that are written on a specific subject matter or topic. A writer, a content creator, or an author can go on there and express ideas, concepts, and visions that they have, or even feelings that they have on a specific subject matter, and they can cover that in depth or short. There are blog articles that are three to 5,000 words, and there are blog articles that are only a couple hundred words. So blog articles vary in length, but they're articles that basically like a Word document online. So that leads me to my first question. What's your favorite blog? Drop a comment down below, let us know what your favorite blog is, share it with the community, share it with the people that are watching this video. I wanna hear from you. So the next step is knowing where to put a blog or a blog article. Well, there are three places that I wanna give you today. I'm gonna to give you three tips. And the first one starts with Medium. Medium is a platform, it's an online website that you can go to and it happens to be an app, which is really neat. You can literally write the articles right into your phone, so there's no excuses not to actually create content and just document your journey if you want. That's one of the biggest ways with blogging is to document the journey, document the things you've learned, just like I'm doing here with these YouTube videos. The thing I love about Medium is there's a community associated with Medium, which is really helpful to get your stuff read. And the last little thing that I love about Medium is when you actually look at one of the articles, it tells you how much time it's going to take to read on average through that article, just based on the reader. Some people read fast, some people read slower, but it'll tell you five minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, so you can understand before you even start reading it how long that article is gonna be, and that's super helpful. The second place where you can put your blog is on WordPress. Our website, adriangraphics.com, is actually a WordPress website, and you may not know this, but WordPress actually started as a blogging platform. It was a website, but it was primarily about the blogs and people writing blog articles. And we use it for this reason, and that's why I love it, is not only is WordPress scalable to any size for a lot of different purposes, but it's really good for taking control over your content, from the titles, to the H1 tags, to the descriptions, to the uh, thumbnail photos. It gives you complete control over and even having plugins within WordPress to help you with the SEO of those blog articles and telling you if they're good or not. So this is a really big deal. WordPress is a go-to site. Millions of people are on it, and it's one that you should consider as well. The last place that you can write a blog is on the one and only Blogger. It's owned by Google. It's a great resource. It's actually the first place that I ever wrote a blog. I wrote a million dollar branding blog there and wrote about five or six articles. And they actually did get views. I looked at it a few years ago. There is some visibility, but I stopped using it when I fully migrated over to WordPress and was just building WordPress websites. So you don't necessarily need to do Blogger and Medium. I would pick probably two. I would do Medium and Blogger, and I would link from your website over to your Medium articles and your Medium articles over to your website. It just helps with being able to get more traffic. Medium is a great link that you wanna have coming back to your website. So those are the three sources. You got Medium, you got WordPress, and you got blogger.com. Now, if you're finding this content helpful, please support me and do me a huge favor by hitting the like button on this video, hitting the subscribe button down below, and drop a comment and introduce yourself because I'm all about community and I wanna get to know you. The last piece that I need to share, and I've already said it once, maybe twice, but I'll say it again, is you need a blog. If you're a business owner, solopreneur, entrepreneur, graphic designer, it doesn't matter, you need a blog. And there are three reasons primarily that I wanted to share of why you need a blog. And the first one is documenting your journey. Now, here's a little secret, little hack. You can actually document your journey on video and turn those things into blog articles. If you go look at our blogs, a lot of those were videos first, and then I turn those into articles. Now, what should you put on your blog? This is a great question a lot of people ask. You need to document your journey of not just your wins, 
but also your failures and the learning lessons that you have along the way. And those are gonna be super helpful in the future if you ever decide to write a book, somebody decides to make a movie, you're gonna have all that documentation if you wanna scale your company and tell that story and use that content for training or courses. It's really important that you document your journey as much as possible. Spend an hour every single day, as one of my mentors says, your power hour documenting what your day is going to look like, what are the goals that you need to have, and that way you have a paper trail that you can go back to, not just for yourself, but to help other people. The second point is generating traffic. SEO, you may have heard of this. SEO is a big deal to generate traffic based on keywords, and every single keyword, whether it's just one word or multiple words, like they call long tail keywords versus short tail keywords, those keywords are going to drive intent users. And what I mean by intent users is people that have some sort of an intent. They may just type in just graphic design. That's a pretty broad search. It's going to give you all kinds of results. But if they, they search how to become a graphic designer or how to use blogging as a graphic designer, they may find this video or this article. So it's really important that you understand a blog is going to help you generate search engine optimization traffic and help you rank on Google, which is the king of all the search engines. Now my last point and point number three is very important and this is where the reveal is gonna happen, so listen closely. By actually documenting your journey and documenting everything from the wins to the losses, you are actually going to be able to serve others. You're gonna be creating content that's gonna be valuable for other people to get breakthrough in their career. And by serving others, you're not just helping you, but you're also helping the industry. And you really don't need to be a seasoned vet in order to be a blogger and to write a blog. It's just documenting your journey. Talk about your beginnings and why you're starting and what you're doing. You don't have to talk about the technical. You can talk about the wins, the losses, the successes, what you're trying, what didn't work, what did work. Those are big things, which leads me to the reveal. Jacob Cass of Just Creative, his blog is the blog that I was talking about that I found that absolutely changed the game for me. It gave me content that I needed to be able to structure my business, scale my business, scale my content, and become just a better graphic designer overall. What I liked most about his content was it was humble, and it was authentic, and it was genuine, and it was just super relatable. And for me, that content is what kept me going, and I kept scouring that blog every single week, day in and day out, to really help level up my career and my business. What it also did is it planted a seed in me, and now look, I'm creating videos just like he was creating blog articles. And those videos are also becoming blog articles. So he planted a seed in me by pouring value and leaving that impression that I want to leave on you. So if you're watching this video, I really wanna encourage you to check out blogging. You need to start doing it, even if it's your first day, or even if you haven't started being a graphic designer yet and you're just now exploring it, I definitely want you to consider writing a blog and just documenting your journey. I wanna remind you as well that down in the description, there's a link and I wanna personally invite you to our free community. It's an Instagraphics Pro Network. You gotta fill all of the questions when you join, but it's a community of the best graphic motion and web designers on the planet. I'd love to have you there and I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Adrian Boycell and I'll see you on the next one. As always, keep looking up.